All right, everybody, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel. The final whistle's just gone at the Optus Stadium down in sunny Australia. And that's the last time you're going to hear that absolutely horrific Australian accent. Apologies to any of you guys down in the land down under. But United kicked off their pre-season tour with a pretty comfortable 2-0 win against Perth Glory. Thanks to goals from Marcus Rashford and a first for United from young Jimmy Garner. And it was a game United pretty much dominated from start to finish with us bossing possession for 90% of the game. And Perth Glory really not really able to maintain any sort of attacking threat. And at times just looked like to be parking the bus and happy to come away and with a clean sheet at times. But thankfully United were able to break that down. Uh, like I say, in the start of the second half, thanks to Rashford's first goal and young Jimmy Garner's almost instant impact after coming off from the bench. But United set up in a 4-3-3 formation, both both halves really, because even though there was a massive turnover in uh, in in personnel between the first and second 45 minutes, United still maintained with a 4-3-3 formation, which was really, really interesting because I don't feel like we will set up, line up with a 4-3-3 um, or at least I don't think we'll predominantly use wingers this season. I think with the signings that we've been linked with and what we've already made, I feel like we're going to be quite narrow in in our in our play in midfield with our wingers providing the uh, wing with our fullbacks providing the width. Uh, but we did, like I say, line up with a four, a four three three formation, which was really really interesting to see. And in the first half, we were getting some really good joy from that. What with Dan James being a constant threat in that first half. Really, really impressive from Dan James. Uh, creating three chances in that first half and looking like our biggest threat, especially in the first five or ten minutes when if our, if our forwards were a little bit, a little bit more uh, proactive, we might have actually taken a lead through one of those balls from Dan James. But he was very, very impressive in the early stages. Also, I thought Axel Two and Zebe in that first half was really, really decent as well. Uh, passing out from the back, we know he's comfortable on the ball, completing 96% of his passes and, surprisingly, winning 75% of his aerial duels um, in the rare occasions that they were trying to go long. Uh, Perth glory, but fair play to Axel. He's not the greatest at heading, heading the ball, or he wasn't prior to his move to Aston Villa. So it'll be interesting to see if that side of his game has come on. Also, I thought Jesse Lingard had a decent first half as well, uh, completing 100% of his shots on target as well, and coming up with two key passes and being one of our, our biggest threats in terms of trying to create something with 91% of his passes in the final third finding another United player. So really, those three stood out in that first half, but unfortunately, United weren't able to we're able to find the breakthrough. Thankfully, in the second half, with the introduction of Marcus Rashford, Paul Pogba, Angel Gomez, who I thought was really, really impressive at times in that second half, along with Mason Greenwood and the new boy, Aaron Wambasaka, who I thought was... We got, we got a glimpse of just how good that boy is because he was only on the pitch for 45 minutes. He won 100% of his tackles, winning five out of five. Looked a lot more of a threat going forward in this United side than he did for that Crystal Palace side. Obviously, he's going to be given more freedom to get forward. And he was really good in his possession as well, completing 35 of 37 passes. So, really impressive from him as well. Hopefully, that's just a little bit of a glimpse and we see more and more of that because he looks... An ab I mean, he's called nicknamed the Spider. Winning 100% of his tackles in that carries on. We're going to have to nickname him the Wall because nobody can get past... Aaron Wan-Bissaka on that sort of form. Uh, but United, one of the main things that I think we can take away from this game, even though it is pre-season and it's all about fitness and and looking at a bit of maybe combination play to see which players are linking up in certain positions and what, what, what works and what doesn't. I think one of the things to come away from this game, as far as United is, we saw, again, the effectiveness of United high pressing, pressing high up the pitch, like we saw in the early stages under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, before the injuries and the fatigue kind of took hit, uh, kind of hit home um, in around about February and March. We started off with a really, really high press and that's exactly what we did today and that's kind of where the two goals came from. In the first half, we could have had a few goals from that, but in the second half, both Rashford's and 
uh, Greenwoods especially, uh, not Greenwoods, Garners especially, all came from pressing high up the pitch and forcing Perth into making mistakes. I mean, the first one comes from them not being able to clear the ball. Pogba latches onto that, finds its way to Rashford, who turns on it and instinctively finds the bottom corner of the net. And then Jimmy Garners, where well, they're playing out from the back, sloppy play out from the back. Garner picks it up and absolutely smashes it into that bottom left-hand corner. So really, really interesting to see that United were playing much higher up the pitch and, and getting in the faces of the opposition. And hopefully that's something we can take forward. Whether we can or not, because I think it's a lot of it's due to fitness and I think that's the reason why it kind of dived off uh, as we got towards the back end of last season. Hopefully the pre-season work and, and high intensity in training has really helped this help the players with the fitness because I think that could be a real asset for United if we can actually do that uh, because we just saw how effective it was in those opening couple of months under Oli. So if we can if we can somehow get back to that and sustain it over a larger period of time this season, I think we could surprise a few people. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. It is just pre-season and it is, like I say, not about the results, even though always good to get off to a winning start. And it's more important towards, like I say, the fitness, the combination play, to try a couple of things out, uh, to bring some of the either youth players or new signings into the fold a little bit. And I think all round, I think you've got to say that it's been a successful first game. Um, obviously, you kind of just want to get it out of the way, if I'm honest, and uh, kick on then because... Perth, were never, they, they were never going to cause us many problems, if I'm honest. Um, but it was it was, it was was uh, interesting to see that we were able to break them down because at times last season we had that same problem where we were coming up against sides who just parked the bus and just wanted to get a, come away with a, with a draw or sneak a win. Um, and they were able to do that. We weren't able to break them down. Whereas this time, maybe that's a sign that we are able to do that more effectively because if we can like I say we could surprise a few people but I don't as far as man of the match I don't really think it's um it, I don't think you can give a man of the match if I'm honest with two separate for two separate teams I don't think you can do it but the players like I say that I was impressed with I thought Dan James in that first 15 20 minutes was really really promising his pace was a constant threat against Perth Glory and he put a decent couple of a couple of decent looking balls into the box we just couldn't get on the end of them uh, I also thought like I said Tuenzebe showed glimpses of what he can bring to United in terms of passing it out from the back and playing it out from the back I thought he was really really effective doing that uh, Jesse Lingard showed that he was getting in and around the box and uh, was linking up play nicely what with Martial being the lone striker if you will and then in the second half I thought Wan Bissaka like I say was Fantastic, uh, defensively, absolutely, like I say, a wall, because I just don't think anyone's going to get past him. Um, and like I say, I'm hoping that he can develop with his balls going forward and his crosses and his final third delivery, because if he can do that, he's a perfect, perfect fullback. Um, and then also, I think I think uh, Angel Gomez also deserves a little bit of credit. I thought some of the link-up play he was doing with the likes of Pogba and Rashford in that second half around the edge of the 18-yard box was really, really nice to see. And it was some really, really nice touches from Gomez. Uh, and I thought he stood out quite a bit today, as did Greenwood, who came into the game more as the, game, as the half went on and should have really uh, had a goal with him, honest. He, he thought he was offside and he just scuffed it wide. Uh, but he also had another shot that came off the bottom of the post as well. So he's getting into those areas, Greenwood. We just need him to uh, not rush things and just... I think that'll come through games as well, um, where he just takes his time and, and he's a little bit more clinical. But very, very positive signs. Uh, let me know in the comment section who you think stood out in this game as well. And are you looking forward to the next game against Leeds United, which I think could be one of United's strong, uh, toughest games in the pre-season because they are the only side well obviously their season starts before the Premier League so they are probably going to be ahead of us in terms of fitness and what have you uh, so that could be a little bit of an interesting game that on, on Wednesday in uh, Australia so let me know what you think that's going to go on 
Also, if you've enjoyed this, drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button. There's going to be an awful lot more content in terms of transfers, previews, reactions, and then looking ahead to the Premier League season as well as we kick on in the summer. So keep it locked to the channel and I'll catch you guys next time.